I just had a really interesting experience. I was on the playground, and I saw a teacher confiscate Pokemon cards from a child. Now, I didn't say anything at the time, but I gently went up to the teacher afterwards, and I said, what better way to introduce statistics than with Pokemon? These grade one students that were playing Pokemon, I guarantee you that they weren't doing anything harder in school than they were doing in the playground. Pokemon is not a super easy game for a grade one student. There's other games out there that uh, uh, are good ways to introduce statistics rather than, ooh, let's see, here's a, here's a bag. How many black marbles do, can I take out of the bag? No, we don't want to go there. Instead, um, look at this. Here's a, uh, here are jet fighters. Uh, they all have statistics on them. Uh, here we have another set of cards with superheroes, my favorite, Flash Gordon. Yes. Okay, so you can see that he could beat Dr. Sylvana, but he might not be smarter than Dr. Sylvana, so it depends on which uh, attribute you choose here. But there's so many interesting ways to get at statistics, and a lot of those you're going to find in games and in uh, these cards. So think about that, and there's one... Wait a second, here, here's one more book. Yeah, here, here was a book that my son brought home from grade one, Star Wars, head to head. So my son's in grade one, and, I've, and you can see that this is fun. Here we have stats for the uh, Rancor Beast versus the Naxu. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. Uh, the Jedi Starfighter versus the Interceptor. I'm interested. Which one of those is going to is going to win in a in a battle? Oh. It, it, these stats are made for boys and girls. Um, perhaps more boys and girls. I'll give you that. <laughs> but there's, this, is a, this is something you really need to take seriously if, you are, um, if you're looking at engaging your students in statistics.